Hi, welcome back to Small Business Saturday. Today is Saturday, May 9th, 2020. Thank you guys for all of your support and emails and compliments. I greatly appreciate it. I had no idea that I had so much of an impact on so many people as far as them wanting to start their own businesses. So that feels really good. Please feel free to leave comments or ask questions regarding your business or any ideas that you may have. Welcome, everyone. I wanted to do a recap of what we talked about over the past two weeks. This is the third edition of Small Business Saturday, and I'm going to keep this going. Eventually, you would have already started your business and got things going, so I think I might start inviting people to be interviewed on this program and they can kind of share their experiences, the pros and cons of starting a business or things that they've learned that perhaps other people can uh, find useful or learn from. So that will be a part of like ongoing programming. Again, I kind of started Small Business Saturday on the fly, like I'm in quarantine, I'm in New York City, I can't leave the house. I'm such a perfectionist. Usually I would have had to have my hair done, nails done, makeup done to even start this whole thing, but I decided, you know what? I don't need all the bells and whistles. I can somewhat do my own makeup. I'll figure out the hair situation. You know what, just put the information out there. And honestly, a couple of people have asked me, why am I doing this? Because I could be charging for this, but I'm so blessed and I love sharing information with people. And I'm just hoping that people are really knowing that I'm a resource and that I'm online and that if you actually watch Small Business Saturday from start to beginning, you can start and launch and maintain and grow your own business. Trust me, it works. So thanks again for tuning in. Previously, we talked about uh, starting your own business choosing a name, making sure that name was available trademark wise. Once you had a name, getting your website URL, www. for example, goodgirlpr.com, registering that. We talked about creating a business entity, whether it be a corporation, S Corp or LLC. I prefer LLC. After we've actually launched the business, we want to have a website. The website has to have certain information on there about us, your services, a contact page, and blogs to keep on generating that traffic. Today, I want to talk to you more about your schedule once your business has start started. Next week, I will probably go into more about you have your business, you have your website, you have your schedule na- down. Now you need to really legitimize your business and open up a bank account, but we'll go over that next week. But this week, I just kind of wanted to talk about you have all these things in place. You have a website, you have a brand, you have a logo, you have a business. What should you be doing after that, right? A lot of people don't understand the process and the routine and dedication involved. So I wanted to talk about that. I also wanted to talk about it as a reminder to myself. Like sometimes quarantine totally has me out of routine. Normally I'm up at five o'clock in the morning going to the gym. I can't go to the gym right now. All the gyms are closed. I also have a six-year-old child. Like there's certain things I can't do anymore because she's not in school. So I'm still trying to get my old schedule back, but I thought this would be helpful for everyone. You have your business, you have your website, you work for yourself perhaps, right? You need to be on a schedule. I know you don't have a boss or anybody to be accountable to, but you need to be accountable to yourself. I feel that most successful people wake up before six o'clock. The early bird gets the worm, right? It actually took me four years to start waking up at five o'clock and the coronavirus and being in quarantine totally threw that off. Right now, my sleeping schedule is completely off track, but I want to get back on. But I feel that most successful people wake up before 5 a.m. and they have a plan for the day, right? So what I do when I wake up, I show gratitude. So gratitude is really important because I feel like when you show gratitude, you attract more business. It's just rules of the universe. So in the morning, you know, wake up. I don't know if you're religious, say a prayer, meditate, but also show gratitude. Show gratitude for whoever, you know, helped you start your business, who's supportive of you. 
all those things are very important. You know, putting that energy out there, you'll attract it back. And when you have your own business, whatever you put out, you get right back. So it's really important to start your day with that mindset. Moving on, as an entrepreneur, you have to take care of yourself, right? You have to have enough energy to sustain yourself throughout the day. I find when I had a nine to five job, I was always tired. It was hard for me to get up in the morning to go to work because I wasn't in love with the work. I w- at that time, I was working on Wall Street. I didn't want to go. The money was great, but I wasn't so excited about that. But food and exercise will give you the energy to accomplish all your goals. Now, I'm not trying to necessarily push an exercise lifestyle on you, but most successful people work out at least five days a week. So if you're not into working out, try to find something that you like that you can dedicate yourself to and realize that once you dedicate yourself to any exercise program, you will have more energy, right? A lot of people don't understand how I have the energy to do all the things I do. It's because I take care of myself. I eat right for the most part. And I exercise consistently and I have a lot of energy as a result of that. So, you know, as an entrepreneur, you need to be feeding yourself with good food, antioxidants, food that has good energy sources, whether you're on a keto diet, which derives energy from ketosis or, you know, making sure not to be engaging in a lot of sugar, which makes you crash and simple sugars like rice and things like that. You want to eat well so you can have the energy to accomplish all your goals and sometimes pull some late nights. So being an entrepreneur, you have to have a certain mindset, right? You have to be able to put yourself on a schedule. You have to be able to attract business and you have to be able to maintain that business by taking care of yourself through food and exercise. Task list. So as an entrepreneur, you have certain goals. So I think the best thing to do is to write down all your goals that you need to accomplish with your business. So those goals would be attracting clients. Those goals would be attracting clients to make more revenue. Maybe another goal would be to expand your business. Maybe right now you're a sole proprietor, but you want to grow into a larger, small business. The point is, is that you write all your grand goals on a piece of paper And then you write steps to reach each goal. So a lot of times people get overwhelmed by goals. They're so large, they're unreachable. But if you break them down into logical steps, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 for each goal, on your list of things to do every day, you write down goal one. The point is, is that if you break down your larger goals, then you will be able to achieve those goals larger goals, and you won't be so overwhelmed by that. So every day you want to have a task list of something to do where you can reach that larger goal. And then eventually that larger goal will be accomplished. So that's what I'm going over today. Just, you know, putting yourself on a schedule, attracting good energy, taking care of yourself through food and exercise, creating a task list where you can accomplish those larger goals. Next week, I will be talking more about how to open up a bank account. Next, in order to open up a bank account, you actually need your business already established. You need to prove that through printouts and things like that. So I'm trying to show you how to start a business in a very logical manner. So we'll go over that next week. And again, thank you so much for tuning in. This episode is about getting in the mindset of being an entrepreneur. Thank you and have a great day.